Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and today I want to bring something to your attention. Maybe this is something that you're already aware of, but I've been noticing something creeping into the games industry that is becoming very prevalent very quickly, and it's something that is really raising a red flag with me quite quickly here, and it's something that I haven't really given too much thought about over the years, and it's something that I've seen kind of slowly trickling in, and now it's just seeming to arrive in full force and it's a new monetization scheme that these companies are trying and I'm wondering if this is something that they've had sort of waiting in the wings or if this is just sort of the natural evolution of what they're trying to do to suck our wallets dry a little bit more and it's the early access pre-order. It's something that used to just be you know sometimes you'd get a little bit of early access for maybe a multiplayer shooter that's sort of a typical thing maybe some of these sports games you get early access in and they've tried these models around for a while and it seems to be the first person shooters and the sports games are where these big publishers try to work their best monetization tactics out before they start spreading them into the rest of their games and that's one of something i'm seeing here with this early access period because now it's starting to sink into even single player games which in my mind is just unbelievably ridiculous and all this is is a way for these game companies to they're they're trying to play you against yourself and your your own patience level and and trying to make you avoid giving in to their hype machine that they have festered with all the mainstream media that they have, with all the advertising that they have, with all the fanboys that are hyping up the game, with all the YouTube videos that are hyping up the game. And what they're trying to do is they're saying, hey, if you just give us, you know, double the price of the game, maybe oh, maybe only 50% of the game, but definitely pre-order the game. Give it to us now. Give it to us now. Give it to us now. Give us that pre-order money now, and we'll let you play the game, you know, three or four days early. And it doesn't sound like much. But the thing is, is that this works. This is something that people want. People want to be the first to play a game. And they definitely don't want to be the last to play the game. A lot of people just don't have that patience level where they see all their friends or everyone they see on YouTube, everyone they see on Twitch streaming these games that are out in early access. And they're like, oh man, I want to get my hands on the game. How do I get my hands on the game? And the publishers are saying, well, you know, just give us an extra 30, 40 bucks and it's all yours. And the best part about this is, for the publishers, is that they're selling you non-content. And this is something I've, I've spoken about before. When these companies sell you non-content, and this is a prime example, all they're doing is letting you play the game a couple days early. And don't think that this is not going to start stretching further and further out. Wait until you start seeing these games where it's like, oh, you can play a week early. You can play 10 days early. But you can play a month early. They're going to keep pushing this because all of a sudden it is getting slammed into every game. And a lot of publishers are doing this. Just this past week, you could have done this with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. If you pre-order the game... You could have gotten early access and started playing ahead of the actual release date. And a lot of people jumped in and did that because I bought it on Xbox. And I saw when I first got the game that a lot of people already had a lot of the achievements because they had got the game before launch. Now with Tomb Raider, you could have just pre-ordered the standard $60 edition of the game and it would have gotten you in. So that's not too nefarious. It's really just like, hey, buy it now and you can start playing it now. So that one's not too nefarious that was not too bad it's still trying to get you to pre-order before the game's really been launched before it's been out in the wild where people can give you their unbiased opinion at that point you're still only relying on the big media sites who had the preview copies of the game to give you their opinion but you but you see what i mean it's it's not so bad because we got some other examples here because i've been starting to look at the upcoming games for the next few weeks and trying to plan out what my purchases might be for October. And what I've seen is two of the games that I discussed that I was, that I was possibly going to be looking at would have been Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Forza Horizon 4. And both of these games, interestingly enough, are also doing this, hey, if you give us your pre-order money now, you can get in early. You can start playing a few days early. And now this does appeal to someone like me who's trying to make videos because I'm not going to be getting 
preview copies. I'm not going to be getting review copies from these publishers. Obviously not. My channel's way too small. But this gives me sort of, if I want to pay for a pre-order, oh, well, maybe I can get a little bit of a jump on some of the other people, right? And maybe you're, if this goes for just regular consumers too, which I'm still a regular consumer, of course, but this goes for people who aren't even worried about making videos. It, it just preys on you. If there's a game you're dying to play, maybe you're dying to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Maybe you're dying to play Forza Horizon 4. That's something you're excited for. And you're going to see all these other people playing and you're going to say, oh, man, you know, I could just pre-order it now. I could just pre-order it now and play it. And the thing with Assassin's Creed and Forza is what they're doing is you can't buy the $60 version and get access. No, you got to buy their special editions, whether it be the gold or the ultimate or whatever they want to call it, whatever nonsense name they want to call it. And whether they want to charge, who knows, 80 90 100 bucks, 120 bucks. It depends on the game. Because it's not just these two games. We're seeing it in a lot of games coming up this fall, and that's why I'm talking about it. But those are just the two most, you know, the two closest games on the horizon that I'm noticing. And, and with this happening with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, just in the last couple days, this is something that, you know, I've seen. This is three games in a row that I've been looking at that are all doing this sort of thing. And so that's, what, that's why I just want to bring this to your attention because this is, this is to me, something where they're going to be like, oh... Some of these countries are starting to crack down on loot boxes. And this is something that's been going on. You obviously, I'm sure you're aware of what's going on with EA. I did a video on it last week, and a lot of other YouTubers have done videos on it in the last week or so. And now they're saying Finland's getting in on the act. So now there's multiple countries. The, the Netherlands are involved. So there's multiple countries involved with that. And, you know, if that keeps going through the EU... These companies could have a major problem if something actually happens here. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But if something does happen, and they have to start taking these random loot boxes out of the game, they're going to have to recoup that money some way, and they're going to start doing it by playing you against yourself and against your fellow players, and it's going to be that waiting game. It's going to be the haves and the have-nots. Oh, did you get early access? Oh, no, I'm going to wait. Oh, well, I already got early access. Oh, man, I'm dying to play. Oh, maybe I'll buy it too. And sure, you can resist, and I know a lot of people can resist and this is not a problem for you and that's not you're not the type of person that I'm really making this video for because you're not going to be swayed either way and that's good that is good that is smart you keep doing what you're doing this is for people like me and for a lot of other people who just kind of have trouble with being patient for a game and like I said people like me who maybe want to get some content out well now I I'm going to be additionally pressured, and you know, there's a ton of people who make YouTube videos, and all these people, they're going to be pressured into making these extra purchases, because they're going to want to try to get that content out ahead of the sales date, ahead of launch, and for people like me who aren't getting preview copies, like I said, it's something that I feel pressured into, and this even ties into games coming out in a couple months, such as Fallout 76, because... That's a game that they've said, if you get into the beta, that progress is going to carry over into the game. So, in effect, if you pre-order the game and you play the beta, you're essentially already started your character. If that progress well and truly carries over into the main game, like they said it's going to, you essentially are going to be playing the game early. That's basically early access, even though it'll be labeled a beta. It'll essentially be early access to the game. It's a very similar thing, but you have to pre-order. Now, you don't have to buy the special edition to get into the beta, but you see my point. It's, it's another example of, a, of another way that they're trying to do that. They're trying to press you into pre-order. Now, I think the word's been getting around that not, for people not to pre-order, and now this is just another way for them to try to draw that pre-order back because, you know, pre-orders have been lagging. We've been hearing it in the news People have been turning on. It's becoming more and more prevalent that the fan base just say, says, stay away from pre-ordering. Don't pre-order. Don't pre-order. And so these companies, this is, a, this is a new way where they can do an about face and start reeling in those pre-orders again. And I'll be honest, even if I wasn't making videos, this would be enticing to me. I'll, I'll be honest. This is something that would allure me as a general player 
who just wants to get in and play a game that I've been looking forward to play because they've been bait they bait us for years with these games so when they finally come out it's like oh man I don't want to wait even a couple more days and I know that that's just foolishness on my part it's impatience on my part it's a character flaw really I should be able to control myself but it, it the fact of the matter is is that just this is just another way it's sort of like the loot box loot box mentality they're just trying to prey on your own weaknesses your own mental flaws and this is this is one that does affect me i my patience level is low when it's something that i really have been anticipating even though i'm not necessarily anticipating odyssey i, I kind of do want to try forza and that that's a different story too because that has multiplayer so you're gonna you know if you buy in early into a multiplayer game then you're gonna have that advantage over people who are going to be getting in a little bit later even though it's just a couple of days even though it's just a couple of days it's it's a it's another carrot for them to try to put in front of you to try to get more money out of your wallet because what's going to end up happening is they're going to start pushing these early access windows out to the point where it's going to be before the reviews have come out and so they're going to get people to start buying the game and playing the game with early access before any reviews come out. And that's really what they want. They don't want you to buy a game based on reviews. They really don't. Unless the game is getting, you know, really high scores, in which case they won't shut up about it for months on end. But they, they, don't, they want you to buy this game, every game, sight unseen. They just want you to, to wow you with the trailer and suck in the cash. And these companies like Ubisoft and, you know, Microsoft, I guess, Microsoft Studios, they're saying, hey, give us the money now and we'll let you know what this add-on content is. We'll let you know what you're buying later on. They did it, Microsoft did also with State of Decay 2 earlier in the year. So it seems like this is what they're going to try to do to try to get people to not just keep the games on Xbox Game Pass. No, they're going to want people to buy these games outright so they can get early access. So they don't have to worry about the game's pass. It, it's it's all it's all part of it. It's all part of it. And they're gonna they're gonna lure you in with the early access, and then they're gonna say, "Hey, you can get this extra content too." And then what happens? The extra content comes out and it's garbage. I already did a video about this with Ubisoft and their season pass, and how I'm pretty much done with season passes. And hey, State of Decay 2, which I just mentioned, they just had their first big DLC come out. And for the most part, everyone's saying that it's hot, steaming garbage. Now, I'm sure some people enjoy it. I have not tried it myself. I have the game, and I enjoyed the base game, even though it got terrible reviews. I liked it, but people are not really enjoying it. It's just like a bog-standard horde mode that they say pretty much every other game that does it does it better. So that's, that's my point. If you bought that Ultimate Edition, they charged you the extra 20 bucks for the game, and then here they come with this DLC that is underwhelming at best for the majority of players. It's exactly what I'm talking about. They're trying to force you into getting the season pass by playing you against your own impatience. Okay, I've said enough. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Maybe it's something you haven't noticed. Maybe it's something that's not going to affect you at all. And if it's not, hey, my hat's off to you. This is just something I've seen is, is coming with in crazy amount of speed coming down it seems to be infecting any type of game from all sorts of publishers so this is just something i wanted to talk about bring to your attention if it's something you haven't really picked up on yet so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i'm coach toolshed and as always you keep it turned to 11.